That's what Mickey thinks. Mickey doesn't care. <laughs> she just wants to sunbake, enjoy the sun, have a nap. Isn't it, Pile? You like that? You pooped, are you, Pile? Oh, bonjour, moi. Alrighty, today we are kicking off more work on the um, chicken coop. So, the chicken coop is going to be made up of repurposed materials from the farm. We've got panels of hardwood, we've got posts, we've got uh, all sorts of stuff. The only thing we probably have to add that we have to buy separately, that's actually not on the property already, is wire. <clears throat> now, at our old place, which maybe you remember from a previous video, the tenants left a garden, uh, like a greenhouse garden frame. And so we've taken that with us because they said they didn't want to keep it. And I'm now putting it back together because that's going to form part of like the free range area for the chickens. So I'm trying to put that together so that it's number one in one piece. Number two, I can actually measure it um, and see where I'm going to fit it. Because I've kind of got a, I've got a plan, like I've done a plan. But I think it's actually bigger than what I've drawn down on the plan. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm getting the frame together and then hopefully I can actually start uh, measuring out and putting some markers down for the chicken coop. progress so there are a couple of bent pieces which I am aware of that's just how it was when we picked it up from the house so I'm gonna have to work on fixing that but the frames up yeah there we go that's gonna be one wing of the palatial chicken house looks fantastic and there we have it folks this is going to be the free range area for the chickens so you can see it's pretty tall. I can walk right through. Yeah. It's got a frame base. I'm just going to take the tape measure over and mark out where I want it to be. So I'm just going to go over now to where I want the chicken coop to be. And I'm just going to mark out uh, where I kind of envisioned it going. Because initially I didn't know the, the measurements of it, you know, with it. Um, Put up so it's just under it's like 2.9 by 3.9 like just under three meters and, and four meters so I'm just gonna go over there now and just mark it out um, and make sure it fits because initially I had a panel where I want this to go I had a panel from the stable to that thinking that was about two meters but that's actually gonna be a little bit bigger so the panel can be shorter so let's go over there now and have a look alrighty so oh, can you hear cookie screeching like an idiot Alrighty, so let's go where to where um, the chicken house is going to be, the chicken coop. Alright, I'll just turn you around one sec. Alrighty, so here we have Moose's stable that he doesn't necessarily go in, but spreads all his hay out from everywhere. This is where the chicken coop is going to go. Back here. This is where the chicken coop is gonna go. So it's gonna go four meters out from the stable, two, three meters across, and then it's also going to go out here. However, that's where I wanted to put the um, the garden thing, which means it may have to go on that side, which is okay. I've still got a couple of weeks to go. I'm just gonna mark it out now and see how I go. Alrighty, so I've kind of laid it out. That little log that you can see there, that's the doorway entrance. This will be one post. 
that log over there is another post and then the frame the garden frame for the greenhouse like to go over there so they will have in this space four meters by three meters here and then they'll have another four meters by three meters from here to that log there that's pretty good here on this side I'm gonna put a little bit of wire just to make sure that no foxes or anything come from that side or snakes or anything so I'll put that all the way down and then on this side is where I'll actually have like on that side uh, I'll have an open uh, latch door that I can actually just take the eggs out and that kind of thing so this will be predominantly sort of closed off to give them a bit of uh, protection from the weather and the cold but yeah then at some point we'll get to um cleaning up all that basically if I haven't mentioned already a friend of ours is getting us a beehive that's coming in September and I kind of was planning to get a beehive anyway but not necessarily sort of soon I thought oh I'll put together a little flower garden you know blah 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 to support my vegetable garden anyway but that friend who's getting us the beehive he said oh initially he said oh I'll bring one of the hives at your place and I thought oh by the time he gets them you know brings them over the flower garden will be ready to go and there'll be heaps of stuff for you know the bees then he comes over and he's like do you guys want a um, beehive and I was like yes so he's going to teach me everything about the beehive etc etc but I want to get the flower garden going so I'm kind of doing the flower garden project and the chicken project at the same time that's the plan it's going to be a busy weekend alrighty the other thing I did hi sweet pea the other thing I did today was uh, deep mulch the garden and today Serge is doing another mini project which I'll show you in a sec he's just painting underneath the eaves of the cathedral ceilings hey pumpkin what's up hey sweetie pie want me to come and give you a cuddle can you give me five minutes <laughs> all right so I deep mulched the back half of the garden I'll take you in actually um, I've got to go get some more of Moose's hay. This is some loosen hay that the neighbor had and his horse passed away a couple of months ago. So there was one uh, bale that was really moldy. So I kind of already put half out and I've put another half out. I don't like the loosen hay. It brings in a lot of prickly weeds. See these things? It brings in a lot of them. I don't know why. Um, they're pretty easy to pull out. They just sit on the surface, but I don't like them. Anyway. Um, and then last weekend I used these garden stakes to lift up the habaneros which are still fruiting and these capsicums which are still fruiting. So I need, I've run out, I only bought 10 to see how they go. Um, I've ordered some more so they're coming and I'll lift these up. For now I've just put that there um, to hold that side but I need a couple to hold up on this side. And these plants are for the garden, these are some azaleas and Japanese box hedges that I bought and some tiger grass so they're gonna get planted this over here is some extra capsicums and some oranges and lemons that I took from seed and started growing them don't know if they're gonna work or not but we'll see so I've got some seedlings going they'll probably come into the garden next week probably along the, along the back we've got garlic but I'm gonna probably just leave one little path sort of in the middle that I can walk down and I'll do the rest of the planting there a couple of months ago when I found out that we had the rat I planted just potatoes in there and sweet potatoes just to have something in the soil to keep going so yeah the only other thing probably along here I'd like to get some more beans up and yeah I'll show you what Serge is doing all right so Serge is doing a project up here he is staining these architraves so all around the house we have this sort of lip from you know that roof over a overhang and um, it's a little bit worn out and hasn't been treated in a while so he is sealing it so he's already done the other side I'll show you the other side so that's the side that he's already done he's done it all along here so I don't know if I filmed it the other day but we started a project that has kind of been on the back burner for a little while we've got obviously we're not connected to sewage and town water so we have a grey water tank and where our grey water tank is positioned tends to accumulate a lot of water and hold a lot of water when there's storms so and plus there was a bit of an issue with the path there was a brick path that we had here and it was sort of you know the ground had moved weeds had come up so it was the bricks were sort of going all upside so i'll show you what we're planning on doing and what Serge has done to date um 
to try and improve a little bit of this area here. Saturday morning heading to the market super super excited I'm um, vlogging very quickly from the car before I get there I, I actually don't have a lot of battery on my phone um, but I'm gonna charge it quickly whilst I'm on the way that it's not far from my place um, but yeah it's gonna be a fun day there's lots of new vendors um, and it's gonna be lots of hugs and, and lots of time for fun so can't wait to show you what we get up to yeah gotta do YouTube and reels now <laughs> All right, there's the homestead soapery setup. I haven't got everything out. I've still got some stuff in the boxes. I just didn't want to be too cluttered. This is my friend Abby and her stuff. Her business is called Made at the Farm. Say hey goodbye. <laughs> and this is all her stuff. She's got signs, home decor signs, dog leads, um, dog bowls, coasters, all sorts of things. Yeah, that's gonna be out. I'm back from the market. Um, Two hours already. I'm tired. I got up. I had so much energy this morning, <laughs> and um, just so tired. It was such a busy day. It was so productive. So many people. Um, so now I'm just laying down, and I think I'm gonna doze off a little bit because I'm exhausted. Um, so I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. <laughs> We're making sausages now. I'm not because. I caught the COVID and I'm sick, but Serge is doing it. So let's see how he goes. What are you doing, G? Tell us. I'm immune to COVID. You're immune to COVID. I'm trying to keep my distance and film. I'm just mixing all the ingredients, all the goodness. All the goodness. We're making sauce, fresh sausages. Make sure you pay attention because we'll be doing this again next time by ourselves. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention on this but... Well, you have to. Alrighty gang, there you have it. A very quick, short, snappy video. Um, as you can see, I got COVID <laughs> halfway through the video. Um, I'm still recovering from it. I still have a little bit of like leftover congestion and um, a cough and that kind of stuff. But other than that, I'm doing fine. Um, it's just ironic that um, my dad, who you would have seen towards the end of the video, um, came to visit us after three years of not seeing him and he brought us up some salami and bacon and stuff that he made for us and um, the next day I tested positive so it was a little bit ironic that after all this time of not seeing each other because of COVID then I get COVID and then three, day, three days later him and Serge get it uh, from me obviously so we were in the same house so um, yeah it was a little bit sucky it kind of did Put a damper on us being able to do any other things like we had so many other plans with dad and things that we wanted to do, go do and um that kind of stuff so we haven't been able to do that obviously but the main thing is that um we've had covid now we're doing fine we're getting better every day and stronger every day and that means we can start coming back outside into the garden and going horse riding and making our flower garden and all that kind of stuff so um i just wanted to let you all know that we're doing fine and we are recovering and i hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you next time bye for now